Hey everyone, hi Montreal. How you guys doing? Share a little bit about me, a little bit about Fatims. That's what I call myself. Uh, number one place in the world where I feel the most confident is the shower. Just me. <laughs> but just like to give you guys some background, like there's nobody that can see me in there, right? It's just me in there, right? But so, well, someone, someone can always see me, but I'm always like, quit looking, Allah. <laughs> it's me and my friend Allah. <laughs> um, for those of you that are confused, <laughs> I was raised Muslim, so Allah's Muslim for God. Or terrorist for excuse. <laughs> if you guys let that joke bomb, they win. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> I, I recently got married though, pretty good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I married a big, tall, fat, white guy, cause that's what mommy likes. Uh, but my family's Muslim, right? And part of the whole like kit and caboodle is uh, that he got to pick a Muslim name, you know? Well, the Muslims don't call it a kit and caboodle, but you know, that's better than like, try to pretend that you want to be Muslim, Fatima. <laughs> but uh, he got to pick a Muslim name. And my husband is from the small town of Souk, BC, Canada, right? And so naturally he picked the name Farouk simply so he could call himself Farouk the Duke of Souk. But I'm so glad I don't have to date anymore because like for me, trying to choose a guy to date was like trying to choose a slice of pizza at like a pizza slice place, you know? That's what dating was like for me because I never got exactly what I wanted, right? It's like there's a slice in the corner that had all the things I liked, but it was really old, you know, right? Like it looked like its sausage might be a little bit soft, right? Yeah. But then on the other side, there's just like this hot, fresh slice, right? It looks super good, surrounded by all of its hot friends, but it looks a little bit greasy. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna have more than just one guy, so I'm definitely gonna regret it in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Then I end up leaving with two Hawaiians anyways. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. <laughs> But I think there's like such a double standard in today's dating world, right? Cause like, if a lady actually went out and slept with a bunch of dudes, the world labels her a slut, right? But if a guy goes out and does the same exact thing, then he's just gay. <laughs> Total double standard. But well, my family is from Somalia and like anytime people find out you're from a different place, right? They always ask you like super weird questions. And like one that I get the most by far, it's like, what do you guys eat? Like, what's your national dish? You know, usually in that voice. <laughs> yeah. But no one is ever ready for the answer because Somalia, a country in Africa, our national dish is spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and it confuses people whenever they hear it because they're like, past is an Italian tradition, you know? And they're expecting me to say something gross, like pickled goat elbow, right? <laughs> but let me explain. It's because back in 1892, Italy invaded Somalia and they brought pasta. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then we Somalis, in our tradition, we uh, hijacked their boats in Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Right? And we were like, look at me, look at me. I'm the Italian now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You've been so